county tax rates, that's due September 30th. So you need to, and you also got a copy of what we signed last year. If you do not want to change them, you need a motion to do that. And then I had Ziegler sign it yesterday. He said he would go with whatever you guys did because you need the county attorney. And then um, Tom will have to sign. But the form, this <coughs> form here is just like the copy I gave you, but as you read the thing, it's better because there's more options now than there was before. So I didn't type it in until you guys make a motion. So whatever you guys go with, uh, put on the new form and send it in after Tom signs it. Right now, um, your cadget is 0 0.01, and your seated is 0 0.00239. And that's been that for how many years, Jim? Do you know? They've never been changed. They've never been changed. Yeah. Okay. They have not. That's what we talked about last year. Was how long you guys were going to go, and I gave you all the comparisons of the other counties. And you can also look at those sheets that I gave you, showing how much revenue they're bringing in, based on their. So I gave you those copies again this year. Remember when we did this last year? When they had Kadrit and Seedit and I highlighted, showed you guys what they were bringing yeah. in? Okay. And I only did the counties that were our size because it's based on population, not assessment. These are out of. Okay, what is your pleasure? Paul, oh, I can't believe you don't have something to say. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to approve it as, as already is. I'll set this up. Move to second. Any other questions or discussion? If not, all in favor say aye. Aye. All right. All the same. We need a motion to approve the minutes from last meeting also. So made. Second. Questions? All in favor say aye. 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 Both say okay. We've got to transfer the auditors in for the auditor. I see. Yeah. I move we approve that transfer. I'll second. We voted and second. Man, you got two friends today. I know. You didn't take a vote yet. <laughs> All in favor say aye. 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 Which one are we talking about? The six thousand dollar one. Okay. Yeah, okay. I got two up. Okay. Yeah, so I'm sorry, I got two. Yeah. All right. The circuit breaker reports. Well, I gave you all copies of what came down. Um, I'll go over it real quick how you can read it. The assessed value is in the column and the certified tax rates for last year. So the circuit breaker credits show money not being collected because of the tax rate or the tax caps, the one, two, and the three. Um, for instance, county general is reduced by 59,656 because of tax caps. And then I just gave you, since you're all from different districts, a breakdown of what each township is not collecting in taxes because of the tax caps. Did you see this this blue I'm looking. As I said, you should all this have This packet was thick. <laughs> I thought I could put them all in order. What was in order of the agenda? Done? Done. Yeah. 
Did they take the check? Yeah. Thank you. Any questions this report? There's nothing really you can do. I just wanted to keep you updated on if someone comes up and says because of the tax caps that we're supposed to distribute to you. Uh, well, thank you, Jerry. All right. Down here to the bottom one, we got some more reports. Employee comparison reports. Oh, that's Paula's group. Yeah, we already did that. That was that's 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 Okay, is there anything else we need to bring up? No, but I would, I would like you to draw <laughs> somebody a check because I'd like to know once something is turned down whether it can be brought back up for a vote. Since it's a tie vote, I think it would have been a no vote or a no vote. And I think you can go ahead and re vote on that, but I'll, I'll check. Just check. Yeah, I'll check. Okay. Make sure. Sorry about that. Timing was soft. Right there. Know, was bad. <laughs> Mr. Roadman, front center. Just here to uh, see if you guys have any questions. Come on up here. If uh, if not, um, I was going to let you know about the next few months, what we've got planned. Uh, I do have a question before you. This is not even a real question. It is. Second time. Go ahead. No, in, in front of my in street, in front of my house, the city put down a slurry, which looked like a top, uh, topping like you'd put on a blacktop driveway with sand and, and gravel in it. Uh, the state, the state did it. No, the county or the city. city. Okay. The city did it. They called it a binder, but. Uh, is it, is it, huh? it looks good. It looks, it looks not too bad. The state's doing a lot of it now. They're using 12s. They come by and, and uh, putting down emulsion in 12s, and then they fog seal over the top. It makes it look black. 205, yeah. they just did that? Yeah. yeah. Well, is that, is that, uh, how's that for, for price and quality? Well, personally, I don't like it. Um, the 12s they put down aren't going to last very long. You know, they're only... Yeah, that thick, so there's no wearing surface. Yeah. What you're doing is sealing the road. You're sealing the cracks, making sure no water gets in there and that kind of thing. So, you know, I don't know. It might last two years, and then you'd have to come back and do it again. You just have to price it out and see if that's if that's good. Uh, state ended up with a bunch of money too, the same as uh, county highways are getting right now. And all of a sudden, they just start doing all this fog sealing all over the place. You know. Yeah, that's something new. Yeah. And uh, it's, you know, the emulsion people get in there and they start working on the, on the head of the state highway. Um, and concrete people try to work on them and, and sure. cut back oil people try to work on them. And right now the emulsion people really have them, yeah. So it's cheap. They give them a cheap number. It is cheap, but it doesn't last long either. Yes. So. I'm just curious. Yeah, what your thoughts was. Yeah. It's impressive. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it gives it that black look, but there's nothing under it. Yeah. As far as the highway goes, um, we're going to, um, starting next Monday, we're going to start milling again. We're going to do 10 miles of, of milling. Um, I didn't bring all those roads. I know 850 uh, down in the Amish area, that, that whole area. I think there's five or six miles uh, down there that's really bad. Um, uh, 50 West down in that area. Anybody ever wants to see that, I'd be glad to get it to you or stop by the highway. Anyway, there's going to be about 10 miles that we're going to do. Uh, we got a really good price for, you, for using the milling machine um, for that two week period again. Uh, they gave it to us at the same rate we got it a few years ago. Um, so that, that will be going on and take two weeks to do. We'll get that ready for the winter. And it'll be it'll become very very hard. We'll have uh, calcium chloride there. We'll be adding two to three inches of stone to it. Um, that'll be very hard through the winter. And then next year we'll do the double double seal on it. Um, Where would you say that was, Mike? Well, I, I I'll have to get it for you. But we're starting with 850 down that Amish area. Uh, there's six mile or so down there that, that's really bad. Um, we're going to do 10 all together. I think 50 when we're down there and 400, I, re I remember, uh, were some of the roads that are going to make up that 10 mile uh, that we're going to do. Yeah, it was across either 800 or 900, 
east of five. I forget which one it would have been. Yeah, and we've got a lot of roads we could be doing, but th this comes down to to money, um, uh, probably mostly time of the year. You know, how many miles can we do and get done? That kind of thing. Another work that we need to be doing. Um, we finished about 50 miles of ceiling this year, which is really good. If you checked around, you'd probably find about an average of 25 is done around us. So we, we had another really good year. Um, we have two mile right now uh, that are gravel uh, that are going to become hard surface that we're working on. Uh, Division Road, um, we have a mile there that we're, we'll be getting ready this year. Won't seal it until the spring. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, 400 East down around between 900 South and 1000 South. Uh, that's a road that uh, some people wanted to get done. They knew that, that road probably would be a long, long time before they ever got it done. So they paid the, to, to get half of it done. And that's a program where if half's done, the county will go in and do the other half. So we get a mile done and, and still collect a little bit of, of, of money towards, uh, towards the road. So we've got a couple mile there that will be going from gravel to hard surface. Um, we plan on doing more of that uh, kind of thing in the future. Um, one of the big things that's going to be happening here real soon, um, we were working with Allen County on an uh, um, intersection project. And in doing that, we brought up the fact that the county line really needed to be paved, and we really didn't have the money to do it. And so I kind of brought it up with, with Bill. Uh, George was there um, helping with that, that whole conversation. And to make a long story short, we asked them to give us some money towards the project, even though it's our road. And the worst they could do was say no. And they started out where they said they'd give us 200000 uh, towards it from 24 up to Bass Road. Before we got done uh, talking to them, they ended up giving us 350000 So the deal was we had to give 100000 They would give three fifty. So we had 450000 going towards the county line. Um, and we're only doing 100000 of that. So... They had the bids the other day on it, and uh, ENB paving was low at 290, 290,000. So that's 160,000 lower than the money we had. But we will do some additional work, knowing that we have some extra money there. There are some places over there where we have to do what's called wedge and level. You go in and put some asphalt down and build up your edges and, and that kind of thing. Uh, north of 14 there. If you've been in that area, up to the bridge, that's really bad. So we'll be putting some material in there. Um, because of that, um, and some of the money that, that we're going to be spending on stone, uh, putting this two to three inches of stone on some of these roads, we're still working on the 2013 budget as far as line items go. And, of course, the additional money that was coming in the money we had saved from last year, uh, that would be in the general fund. It's not in those line items. So we're going to be coming in next, the next council meeting uh, and asking for some additionals uh, to be able to pay for those, those, those projects and some of this paving. We have some money left from, uh, of course, we did Lincoln Way. You guys saw that and the striping that we, that we did throughout the county and the striping of Lincoln Way. And I think there's maybe $40,000 left there or something that can go towards <coughs> our hundred that we're going to have to pay over on the county line. But we're still going to have to come up with 50 or 60 for that. But again, a really good deal. We're getting probably will end up around $400,000 of work over there for 100000 of our money. When so, are you going to do that project? Well, I'm going to go over Friday. Uh, the county commissioners in Allen County uh, will officially award that project, and at that time, ENB Paving will tell them when they think that they can fit that in and do that. So we should find everything out on Friday, uh, what's going on. I'll let you guys know. That's uh, Liberty Mill and 900, right? 
the why, intersection. Why did, why did we call that 900 rather than Liberty Mill all the way on into Liberty Mill? Well, our side is 900, their side is Liberty Mill. Yeah, why, but why, I'm saying, why did we call it 9? Oh, I see. Probably because of the 911, that whole period. Of number yeah, of and see, that's a federal aid project, so it officially won't even happen for three years. But we, we actually have a payment schedule with Allen County on that. Um, like we have to pay, this is an estimate, but I think it's like 7000 the first year and, and um, 20000 the next year or something like that. Um, and I think we end up paying, was it 100000 I think we end up paying 100000 on that project. And of course, uh, the big part, which is maybe 350000 or somewhere in that area, is Allen County's. But uh, that's on down the road. So when we pave, we'll just pave up to the limits of that intersection project and dub it down and then go ahead and on north. You know, so that way they're not tearing down new pavement in three years. So we've got a lot to do through the fall. And I um, thought we'd keep you guys, let you guys know where we're at. Thank you. Michael, is there anything that it hasn't been used as far as appropriations that we can do a transfer instead of asking for an additional? Well, we're working really hard on that. In fact, um, I had just been on vacation for a week and came back and asked Karen to, to get me all the papers, get me the, the uh, I want to know where we stand on our local road and street and, and our MBH. Yeah, and because we haven't used any of the local road and streets the last I looked. And I just thought if we could move around or transfer some appropriations. Yeah, I think the look around the street, from what I've been told, is gone. It's gone. Yeah. Okay. Well, I haven't looked lately. Yeah, so and I need to talk to her about that because I always set a limit to never spend under fifty thousand dollars, and she's saying she did. So she and I need to have a talk about that. But um, uh, anyway, she thought the um, claims would be. In and we would have uh, that information back maybe tomorrow or something like that to where I can look in there and and um, but yeah I mean we'll transfer everywhere we can transfer we still have three months four months right to go I so um, uh, but we'll put together those areas that are going to be obvious you know when you like, like the paving project or the milling those are higher costs and they're going to be obvious transfers but uh, uh, I think we've done real well with the money we saved we've had a couple of months of money that's come in of the new money uh, so I think we'll be in real good shape and we're getting a lot of work done we have a new truck that's sitting over there right now W. A. Jones can't take it in right now but they will soon so uh, it's, it's waiting over there too all right thanks thank you okay thank you I have one more request before I need um, you to approve the longevity pay date for November 18th instead of the 19th. So it's on a Monday instead of a Tuesday. We put the wrong date in because it was the previous year's date when we paid it out. And in first, um, just ask the commissioners for their 2014 schedule and that's when it got caught. So if you could make a motion, I would appreciate it to change it to a Monday date, not a Tuesday. So moved. November 18th. So, yeah. Moved and second. All in favor say aye. 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 Both the same. Aye. Approved. Okay. Moved. Who made the second? John. 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 Anything else? No. You good? I am good now. Adjourned. Adjourned is complete. Sweet.